Scarlet Knights fan. So, uh, I was unfortunately, but I guess I could say fortunately, I got sick. Uh, I'm not feeling well, and so I missed going to and attending the season opener in Trenton. Uh, the Scarlet Knights versus the Princeton Tigers. I am disappointed I missed my boy Brian's uh, pregame party, but not with the fact I missed that game. I guess the one thing I can say, the one thing is, I, the one thing that I know about Rutgers basketball this season is that I know absolutely nothing about Rutgers basketball. I don't know what kind of disorganized, absolute mess that was today, but I really hope that's not what we're going to be seeing for the full season because I thought. We had a newer, faster team with some decent shooters and Griffiths and, you know, uh, Palmquist coming back. And I thought Chole was going to be shooting the ball. And what I saw was a debacle. Um, no clue who the go-to guy is to bring up the ball. No clue who the guy is to penetrate. No clue who the dominant rebounder is. No clue who the best defender is. Uh, no clue about anybody, really. Uh... Cliff Amori, I love him as a young man, but I don't know if he just dips his hands in 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 butter or oil before every game and just can't hold on to the ball. Uh, Derek Simpson, I mean, I don't know if he. I, I thought he was going to take a step up. He he was did not play well. Jermichael Davis looks like he'll be taking his minutes, and he did take his minutes. Uh, Noah Fernandez was okay, wasn't impressed. Um, Wolf was good. Uh, I hope he's okay. He took a spill at the end there. I thought Wolf played well, played his heart out. I thought Oscar played pretty well. Um, we miss Mag still. I think it's evident this team misses Mag. He misses defense. They miss his tenacity. Uh, they miss his glue. They miss his leadership. I, uh, he was cleared to play is my understanding, but they're bringing him along slowly. Well, slowly better speed up because it looks like this team is continuing the same style of play and same slide that they were on at the end of last season, and that's not good. Uh, just missing layup after layup after layup. Again, I don't know if this team fits the rim with an invisible garbage can on top so they can't get in and just dips their hands in oil every game. I, I don't know. Cannot hit a layup to save our lives. That hasn't changed in like five years now. Don't know why. Can't hit a layup. Can't hit a three-pointer. And, of course, as usual, the other team sinks just epic amounts of three-pointers. This looks like the same team as last year and not in a good way. Uh, Gavin Griffiths, great prospect. He just didn't look good on defense at all. Uh, and his offense was all right. Um, doesn't look ready. Um, so, you know, I said at the beginning of this season on my preview that the biggest question I had was how was the defense going to be? Defense looks like it's going to take a huge step back if we're basing it off this game. Uh, offense doesn't look any better than what we've seen. Faster, but even more disorganized. I'll have more on this game when I discuss the football uh, stuff going on uh, later in the week. So tune in for a episode of Night Watch. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe right there. Um, great to revive the rivalry, maybe, but this just hurts us. It's a quad three loss and really didn't do anything for us. So kind of a waste of time for RU fans tonight. Um, good luck the rest of the way for Princeton. Let's just flush this thing from our brains. We'll dissect some stats and stuff later in the week. But click subscribe and try to sleep okay. Go watch the Monday Night Football game. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Rough, rough day for us. Later.